my tutorial for a Bob Ross inspired glow in the dark haunted spooky window tumbler. We are going to get right into it fam because your girl's camera decided to shut off mid tutorial so I did not have the footage of me applying this epoxy layer but all I did was prep and spray paint my tumbler white then I mixed in star cloud glow in the dark mica into 25 milliliters of epoxy and applied it all over the tumbler. Add as much or as little micas as you like. Y'all know I like my tumblers to be seen from space. So I added a healthy, <laughs> a healthy amount. Now, while this epoxy layer dries, let's get our vinyl. I'm gonna be using the Live Laugh Scare vinyl from the most recent September Glam Box from Glamour Tribe Vinyls. And of course, we are extra, 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 extra around here. <laughs> around here. So I wanted my glow to be seen through the vinyl as well. To do this, I cut out the lighter purple spider web from the vinyl. It took me quite a while. Okay, so quite a while. So if you don't have the patience, you can totally skip this step and add some more spider webs using glow in the dark vinyl. I mean, just do what you like. Apparently, apparently I like to torture myself. So yeah. I measured my tumbler, bleh, bleh, measuring, I can't stand measuring. Oh my goodness, I can't stand it. But I needed to measure my tumbler to get the size I needed for my vinyl and I used the reverse weeding method to apply it to the tumbler. Now, your the measurements are going to vary per tumbler size that you are using. I'm using a 24 ounce plump from the Tipsy Magnolia and my measurements were 4.75 by 7.75, but please, please measure your tumbler fam because it may be different I, I, I my measuring skills are, are not up to par but it worked for me but be sure you measure your tumbler just in case just to be on the safe side okay okay When you're finished, tape off the vinyl section so when we spray paint, it will be protected. For my moon, I wasn't sure what size I was going to use, so I made several circles between three inches to 3.5 inches and I picked the one that looked better I'm not sure what size it was I think it was a three and a quarter inch size <sighs> don't quote me on that but yeah just cut out some circles and just use the size that you think is going to look best
For my spray paint, I'm gonna go in with pink, then I'm gonna go with purple around the bottom and a little bit around the top edge, and then spray paint where my moon is going to be with white to kind of help my glitter give the moon glow that I want. So I spray painted it with white, so it'll be a really light colored pink around the moon. To apply my glitter, I'm gonna be using the epoxy method, but use whatever method is easiest for you. But if you are an epoxy method lover like I am, use a little bit more epoxy than usual, just so we can really blend our glitter colors. As the glitter settles into the epoxy, we can continue to add more glitter on top to really get a nice blend. To match the vinyl, I'm gonna be doing a pink purpley theme with my glitter, but y'all y'all do whatever colors you wanna do. Remember, this is a Bob Ross themed tumbler. This is your world. Do whatever you like. Let cure, then seal with a clear sealer to keep all that beautiful glitter in place. Then we'll be ready to add our coat of epoxy. And of course, I needed to add some extra sparkle, so I grabbed Opal Dreams and added it into my leftover epoxy and placed it in spots all over the tumbler. I don't completely cover it, I just added it in spots. But you know what, as I said, do what you like. In fact, you don't even have to add the extra glitter if you don't want to. But you need to, so, so go ahead and do it. Do it. Let cure, then we'll be ready to add our silhouettes. For my silhouettes, I decided on a spooky house, but you can do any spooky scene that you want. I decided to add some spooky mist to my spooky house before I added the trees. So I grabbed some UV resin and magic micas. I love adding like a spooky misty look to my spooky tumblers. So you can legit skip this step if you like. I'm doing this before I add the trees because y'all know I need to cover my seams. I'm gonna be using some dead tree silhouettes to do that. And just to give the illusion that the trees are in front of the mist, I'm gonna be putting the mist down first. This will also help give the trees like a border type feel and add some depth.
When I was finished, I sealed this layer with a coat of epoxy, then I was ready to add my decal. I went with a quote from Macbeth, but again, you can add any quote that you like. I also used the spooky elements sheet to add some bats to my main scene. For the bottom, I decided to make it glow as well, and I also added the spider web from the spooky element sheet. I sealed until my tumbler was nice and smooth and then I was all done. I absolutely love the glow on this tumbler. We were doing a glow in the dark challenge in my mentorship group and I had to play. I had to. <laughs> That's it guys. Thank you so much for watching my tutorial. A huge thank you to all of my Patreon and channel members. Your support means the world to me. I would not be able to continue making content without you. Have fun making your Bob Ross themed tumblers and I'll see you again next time.